Meanwhile, opposition groups in Egypt, and it's been a big weekend in Egypt, they've rejected the results, or at least the initial results, of the first phase of a very controversial referendum on a very controversial draft new constitution. Those initial results pegging that a majority have approved this new draft constitution. But immediately, human rights activists are saying that they want a recount of the entire process, that there were numerous violations. They're accusing the ruling Muslim Brotherhood and the government of bias, as our Adil al Mahrui has the details from Cairo, Egypt. A day of long lines of voters ended and counting began. According to preliminary results, around 56% of Egyptians in the first phase accepted the new draft constitution. The opposition's National Salvation Front believes there is still hope for a no vote in the second phase. The results will be accumulated. 25 million people went to vote. The next time, the other 25 million will vote. It is not that someone won with just over 50 percent. The most important thing is the total sum of the votes. Then we will know. We took all the roles we could do, but the integrity of the elections is greatly in doubt. During counting, clashes broke. Mobs, believed to be from the extreme Salafi Islamic movements, attacked the headquarters of al Waft party, the biggest liberal party in the country. Warnings of instability are once again flashing through Egypt, along with a wide rejection from the opposition to the results and various reports of voting violations. We reported violations to the general prosecution, and called the election committee to investigate. In accordance to an appeals court verdict in 2005, the violations that occurred yesterday mean that the voting is void. Therefore, we demand to repeat the voting of the first phase. And if they don't respond to the legal efforts, we will then revert to the political powers in the streets. Independent monitors accuse the ruling Freedom and Justice Party of issuing monitoring clearances to only their supporters while the party announced its confidence in the voting process. In the streets, Egyptians reflect the same division. This is the best constitution in Egypt's history, and even if there are violations, there are regular violations, as in previous elections, they do not affect the entire integrity of the elections. The elections committee did not confirm the results yet. It will wait for the second phase on December 22nd to announce the complete results. So far, the majority of Egyptians accepted the draft constitution, but at the same time, nearly less than half of the Egyptian society rejected it. On social media, no voters are sharing.